Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the fabulous city of Brisbane! And this is the first round action for the Brisbane Dance Masters. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the millions of viewers joining us around the world, it's time to meet the players. Would you please welcome from Australia, taking part in his third World Series event, it's Tomo Justin Thompson! gentlemen here he is a UK Open and German dance master and ladies and gentlemen the newly crowned Melbourne dance masters champion and now for your entertainment for the very first time on the Brisbane stage let's get this party right after what he did in Melbourne last week. See if it continues, and I think Rod Harrington's got an update. Saw him in conversation with Peter as we walked off stage about his dart situation. It's over to Rod and Glenn Lama. Yeah, good on you, Adam. Well, straight to it. Has he changed his darts, Rod? No, he hasn't changed his Ooh. darts. This is the first time in history. Breaking Peter news. Right. For the second tournament in history. <laughs> right, he's got the same odds. However, he has changed his points because he said the other ones had uh, too much grip on them oh, okay. and were ripping the boards up. But uh, the barrel is exactly the same. And I just couldn't believe he was going to change those darts after the way he played last week. Yeah, he was fantastic, Peter and Wright. Beat Michael Smith in the final 11-8. Took out Van Gerwen and Raymond Van Bunneveld as well. And he averaged really well through the tournament, just on 100. Justin Thompson here. Tomo, 49-year-old from Beverford in Victoria. Uh, he has uh, played in two World Series events last year. Right on Melbourne and Perth, played Gary Anderson, Simon. Look, here he is back again for a third time. Interesting story with him. He beat Reese Mathewson 6 5 in a qualifier to get here, and he threw an 11 data in the last leg to win it. Well, that shows a, a lot of bottle straight there. That's what you dream about in a decider. Just you know, 11, 12 data take your opponent, especially with the throw. It takes your opponent straight out of the equation. And Peter Wright's in very good form, and he had that look in the eye last week, Thanks, didn't he? Justin, to in between the teeth. Game on. Well, I've just had a look at Peter Wright's nine practice starts: 180, 100, 170. So a pretty tidy practice starts. <laughs> So Peter right here, otherwise on him with what he achieved in Melbourne last week. 68. Well, three travels, two green ones. 
not the troubles you want to hit unless they're down the bottom of the board. The one thing about that Peter Wright, which is what I like, Glenn, is that although he won last week and he won it brilliantly, he will not walk into this game thinking that he can automatically win. That's what a, a good professional does, and that's what I like about Peter Wright. He's so focused, that mindset oh, is so good all the time. And it all starts again the week after, doesn't it? It's on top of the order of merit at the moment in the World Series, number one seed here this week. And that top oh, half has really opened up to Smith as well. Yeah, it has. Yeah, Peter Wright. Okay, to take full advantage of that. 145. We've got to mention Carl Lance in the previous match. Yeah, very. Game, you know, he, he did play a lot better once he got into the, the groove you know, he's got problems with his Sixth eyes team. but um, you know, he needs to get those sorted out because there's no sympathy in this game from other players i'm afraid but um you know six 180s in and in, in short match like that is exceptional we know how good he can be that that's what's frustrating you know for me when i follow him all in the world you know and, and talk about them all the time you see how good they can be yeah, you want them to be at their best all time Well, that wasn't on the plan. He should have gone for the triple 18 there. No. Yeah, sometimes, Glenn, they, they, the, the triple 20 looks 74. so good and you need a dart at a double, then you've got line and length on that triple 20, so you'll find a lot of players will stay with that treble just to get the one dart at the double, but it's double top now for right. Above. So Thompson, Tomo has 74. got a chance here. He sure has. Tops for the leg for Thompson to hold his throw. 54. Oh, he gave the wire a little nudge. Did Tomo, but wasn't to be. Down to 10 now. 20. Wow. So Justin good on the double last week 20. in Melbourne. <laughs> Change of darts coming up, yeah. I reckon. <laughs> Thompson holding his throw. Against the first leg. That was ugly darts from both, Rob, but Thompson got there. Oh, you get over the line as long as you get exactly. over the line. How many darts in that one? Maybe 18, 21? <laughs> Yeah, somewhere time. up there, wasn't yes, it? Yes, it was 18. Yeah. A methodical player, Thompson. And there is all 80 to him. First of this match. Good time to get one, too. You've just held your throw, Rod, and now you're looking to break your opponent in the second leg. Perfect time to throw a 180. Well, that's 16. when they do the most damage against the throw. And he's just asking the question here from Whitey. We need to follow that up. Three bare twenties. It nearly cut that 180 and a half, which is what he's done. 60. So, you know, normally just a nice level ton following a 180 is perfect. But he's just opened that door now. He had Peter right up against the ropes. And not so much now. It's a good vibe in the stadium tonight here in Brisbane. 60. Well, slow start from both players. Let's be fair about that. Yeah, 85 average for Thompson, 82 for Wright. These players left 60. there form in the locker room. Well, he's going to hope Peter Wright doesn't hit a couple of trebles. 180, 100. you know, that should have given him the first dart of the double the way this game's gone, and so maybe, but he's got to find 
a treble. Three bare twenties are not going to be enough. One hundred one. All right. Big check out. Give him a bit of a boost. No finish. So Thompson. One hundred and five. Justin Urico. One hundred and one. Well, he's hit a one eighty in this leg as Thompson. If he could finish this, this may hurt. The confidence are right here just a little bit. Two ways, triple 19. Well, Wright's going to come back for that double 18. 59. You don't want to split it with the Can first dogs. That travel over to the, the nines is the terrible bus ride over there. So <laughs> just put on the outside of the double 19 or just put it straight in. Lucky like start. Please do it. didn't take the scene to breathe that time. Game on. Did Peter Rock. So he holds his throw, but again. Of a struggle for right to hold his throw there. Now Thompson. The last one he was with the first three darts of the last leg. He's done it again. Maybe Kyle Anderson could those glasses, Rod. I think I could do it <laughs> there on those as well. 83. Well, last time that Tom hit a 180, he threw eight darts before he found a treble to back it up. And this is where you need to find at least one. Just keep the pressure. Well, here's one of them. That's brilliant. That's a brilliant backup from a 180. Well, it sure is. So he's had six darts, Tom, and he's put five in the treble 20. Can't get much better than that. This is good. This is what uh, Thompson and all the qualifiers need to do. They hold their throws first. Fifty-five. Still is well clear here, Rod. Yes, he should get six darts from one four one. We will do now. 141. Well, a lot of the players, they hit two bare 20s here. We'll look at 25, which will leave them the 76, which is a dart of the double instead of going for a 20 and leaving the 81, which may only be at the bullseye. Mm. Now he's going to come down now. Now he's gone for the 25 with the second dart. Now back up. 65. That does leave him 76. Fill it up, is he? Yes. That well, puts the squeeze on Thompson here. He can't afford a mistake now. We had a little walk on that. He thought it was in. Yeah, sometimes you do. A little smile. Now he's got to focus. Just slide it inside that dart. Oh, that's unlucky. Yeah, hey, we've all been there, thinking it's in. Mine plays the tricks sometimes. Now, right, surely. We'll bury the sun, and he has. Breaks the throw of Thompson. Full flag, Peter, to throw first. Oh, Peter Rock. It's the difference, isn't it, Rod, just between the pros and the guys who want to be the pros? Or anything that... that Tomo went off with a 180, 135, or 125. And lost the leg. He can't afford to do it. Especially against Pete right at the moment. And Tomo's going to just get that last leg out of his head. But it's unlucky because the first dart was close. And mm. sometimes before it hits the board, you kind of think that's in. And you start to walk up there and you think, oh dear, and I'm having a travel here and I shouldn't be. 100.
140. He's got good mental strength, hasn't he, Thompson? He's covered, covered nicely there from... For uh, first three darts. But again, Wright's just doing enough. We saw Van Barneveld do this earlier, Rod. He feels like he's just going to work his way through this match. Well, so much as you just have to grind the result out, you just don't look at the figures. Move just the W beside your name and move on. I think it's us commentators they emphasize a lot more on the averages, but some players should just forget about them. 439. Good dice there from Wright. Doing what he needs to do. Very simple throw as Tom Oak just sets it very back. He doesn't got a lot of back lift from his set. Video um, by 62. And it's just a strong release. You've got Peter Wright sets it a lot further forward, so he pulls the dart a lot further back. Oh, it's a good finish from Wright. Absolutely dead center of both the Rebel 10 and the double 16. Right halfway through this match. Halfway to yet another quarter final appearance in a World Series. this match will play Raymond Smith in the quarterfinals not Michael Smith but Raymond Smith who triumphed in that battle of the Smith 6-1 huge upset it's to be fair to Raymond though I mean he had a hundred average for most of that game yes he did he did he play played really well, well didn't he, he well we keep taking talking about it Glenn taking the game to the pros get in front of them you know put a, them a little bit edgy asked him the question we asked the question of Michael Smith and uh, no, he had no answer this evening. He really did. He was lucky to get one leg, really. It was looking like it was going to be a 6 0 drumming at one point. 100. Very colourful head tonight, Peter. Oh, yes, I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to spot the Australian reference in there like we've seen last week. And we saw the Kiwi in, in New Zealand, of course, and the map of. New Zealand. 140. Can't see an Aussie reference in there today. That's the second of the match for Peter Wright. Isn't that tasty 164 finish? Well, that's pushed his average to just under the 100, which is. A very tidy average, but he's, he's scoring power, <clears throat> two 180s and two 140s, but he's got 10 tons. We talk about scoring power, normally those two, the 180s and 140s, be more than the tons, but right, he, three out of seven on his doubles. One hundred. That's your goal, 164. He's staying up for the triple 20. Triple Dean, or is he going to the 19s? It looks like he might be into the 19s. No, he was going for the triple biddies. Forty-four. Did you recall sixty-four? Staying on the sixteens for a four-one lead. No nudging the wire on that one. Right in the heart. Yes, a good solid close of a leg out there from Peter Wright. And you have to go back in this game to Tomo <coughs> missing those two darts at the double eight. Yes, so he lost that leg in the previous match. Maz had that eight darts, nine darts at the double, and that cost him the next two legs. It's exactly what's happened here. You've got to take your chances that you create. 83. Just a stray dart hampering Thompson at the moment as well. 45.
100. Thompson's had four. Scores 103, 140s and two 180s. Dead off the right. 40. Yeah, it's that percentage on doubles that's killed him though. Sure only has. five, only 20%. Right's going okay, isn't he? 50 percent on his double attempts. 125. Anderson. Good performance from him in the last match. Yeah, it's pleasing to see. I mean, we, like you said earlier on, we want to see everybody play at the top of their game, which is a lot easier for us to commentate on a great game, I can assure you. Oh, yeah. And uh, I've known Carl for a long time. He made the, the choice of coming over to England to improve his game, which it did. But he's just gone off the boil, but his consistency is not quite there. What about that match, Rob? No, I mean, you hear that one in the performance to tonight. Yeah. When he was in Auckland last year when he won it. Did it match, match that form? Well, he isn't... I just see Peter right now. He, he just isn't no, confident. It seems one, to me when he has a couple of bad legs, it spreads. But like in this match earlier tonight, once he got on a run, then he started firing the 180s. Yeah, 19 for the bullseye for Tom. We can finish this leg in style, yeah. He's taking his time too, as Tomo. It's a good check out for Tomo. 94. Oh, yes. I think that's the highest check out of this match. Right, nothing really. Troubling the scorers other than that one. Gave him the confidence too of that break. Got to consolidate though with a 60. hold here. Sorry, Patty. Good for Mike. Thompson going okay. Next, it's the world champ Rob Cross up against Pusey, who's playing in a fifth straight week. Stand by for that one, and stand by for another 180 from. Yes, that, that next match, Rob Cross needs to get into his rhythm early on because I've been very impressed with Pusey in the last two World Series events in Auckland and in Melbourne. And the only thing that's stopped him showing a lot more better form is just missing doubles early on in them, both those matches. Missed a 10 down against Gary Anderson and then just kept having a go at himself, but... Uh, I know how good Rob Cross can be. The world champion. Yeah, Rob Cross, quarter finalist in both Auckland and Melbourne, but not going any further. Now Wright's got control of this. Leg against his throw, too. And Thompson really needs a 180 here. One hundred. He got 58. It's all right to re-establish that two-break lead. Tops for the finish. Yes, the the right. Second dart, didn't it? Yes, a tidy 12 dart leg to reverse. get that throw back. Okay. And he's pushed his average to over 100 for the first time. And now you would expect Peter Wright, 15 dart leg with the throw, you think would get you over the line, but just to make sure this is when you want that 11 12 dart. Right on match point there. Eighty-five. 
and Thompson's edge down below 90. It's been fairly static around about that mark all the way through. Throw big numbers, just not consistently enough. Well, you find a lot, a lot of the players, the, the qualifiers are good scorers, but it's that normally that setup shot is where they just go missing consistent buys and obviously the doubles. They just uh, open the door for the professionals and you know, they do it week in, week out on this big stage. Well, Thompson's given himself a chance. Needs to be good enough to take it. 100. Justin Urico on 100. I think this is it for Thompson. Against Melbourne Masters champion. And that's a four. Still should be able to. Just one thing I don't understand, Glenn, yeah. sometimes. You know, everyone practices on that treble 20. Day in, day out. And then you get a shot where perhaps you should go over that treble 20 and you drop for the treble 18. I, I just don't understand that. Tops for the finish for Wright. Now it's Peter Wright. The double tens of 55%. Stat that steadily increased as the match went on. And in the end, the man who won the Melbourne Masters last week. Comfortably through to the quarterfinals here, spatching of Justin Tomo Thompson, six to two. Coming up next, it's the world champion, Rob Cross, here in Brisbane. I'm Rob Cross, I'm the world champion. He looks massive, this is gonna be special and this is great to be a part of. Probably Michael because he's beat me more times than I've beat him. And the adrenaline what pumps, I don't get it in sort of anywhere, any other part of life what I do, so um, just the adrenaline really, it's fantastic. I made a banana skin or something. <laughs>